Whoso lists to hunt by Sir Thomas Wyatt fifteen oh three to fifteen forty two Whoso lists to hunt I know where is an eind but as for me alas I may no more the vain travail hath wearied me so sore I am of them that farthest cometh behind. Yet may I by no means my wearied mind draw from the deer, but as she fleeth afore, fainting I follow. I leave off therefore, slithens in a net I seek to hold the wind, who list her hunt, I put him out of doubt, as well as I may spend his time in vain, and graven with diamonds in letters plain, there is written her fair neck round about, Nolly me tangere, for Caesar's I am, and wild for to hold, though I seem tame. Okay, this poem is by um, Sir Thomas Wyatt. Let's see, Thomas Wyatt was a politician and an ambassador. Um, let's see, the language in this poem is quite difficult because this is the from the early 16th century and mm, there is some deviation from the way that we speak nowadays. Um, let's see, he was, um, what, his main patron was Thomas Cromwell who was um, w uh, one of the ministers of Henry VIII. Um, Wyatt went to St. John's College, Cambridge, and there was a rumour that uh, he had an affair with Anne Boleyn, Henry VIII's second wife. So, whoso lists to hunt, what's the poem about? Well, I think the poem, it, it um, superficially or uh, at first look is talking about uh, hu the hunting of a deer yeah um, I think it covers the themes of uh, infatuation uh, love cruelty and the difference between what appears and what is uh, reality and in fact this um, poem is about wooing a a woman and uh, it's saying that um, he has tried to woo this woman to court this woman but she wants absolutely nothing to do with him yeah and he's saying that if anybody if there's anybody out there who uh, is uh, is after her is what who wants to woo her they should give up because they're just not going to be successful so whoso list to hunt this says whoso anybody that wants to hunt I know where is a hind an hind a hind is a female deer and this is something that uh, one would hunt in those days to go deer hunting for deer um, but the hind is also a reference to a lady, as we will see more clearly later. Later, but as for me, alas, how sad! So, but as for me, alas, I think alas would be more common doubt nowadays. I may no more. So it's not possible for me to hunt this deer any more. The vain travail hath wearied me so sore. I am of them that farthest cometh behind. 
So travail is hard work. So um, clearly the um, hard work in hunting this, this, this deer, in courting this lady, um, has been in vain. And it has wearied me. It's made me very tired. Yeah, it's wearied me so sore till it is painful. I am of them that farthest cometh behind. So I am one of those who fails the most miserably when trying to court this lady. Yeah, um, I just can't do it. Yet... May I by no means my wearied mind draw from the deer. So there is no means, there is no way that I can withdraw my mind from thinking about her. So try as I might, I can't stop thinking about her. Yeah, I can't stop uh, desiring her. But as she fleeth afore, fainting I follow. So as she runs away from me like a deer, she fleeth afore, she flees in front of me, fainting, l almost losing consciousness. So I'm ti I tiredly follow. I leave off therefore. So it's logical for me to stop. Slithens since, because, as a result, yeah, so it's, I, therefore I have to stop, because this is like trying to catch the wind in a net. In a net I seek to hold the wind. So I stop trying to court her, because this is uh, like um, trying to catch the wind in a net, which is something totally impossible. Who list her hunt, I put him out of doubt, as well as I may spend his time in vain. So anybody who wants to court this lady, to um, woo this lady, I will tell him clearly, I won't let him doubt that he will spend his time in vain exactly as I have. And graven with diamonds in letters plain, there is written her fair neck round about. So, written around her neck, engraved, graven around her neck in clear letters. Yeah, okay, so there's a, a, a motif written around her neck. I think this is m metaphorical. I think the diamonds say that this um, message is very clear. Yeah, it's written around her fair neck. Noli me tangeli, for Caesar's I am. So the noli me tangeli, don't touch me. Nobody should touch me. And this is also maybe a biblical allusion to what Jesus said um, after he arose from the dead. Um, but this is say this here is saying written round her neck is the is the idea. Don't touch me because I belong to Caesar. I belong to Caesar. And maybe this is referring to um his affair with uh um, Anne Boleyn, yeah, at this time Caesar being Henry VIII. Nobody may touch me because I belong to Caesar. Yeah, so um, it's clear that nobody can have her because she belongs to the Lord and Master. And wild for to hold, though I seem tame. Okay, so um, he, uh, one can see her beauty and uh, there is no way that he is able to uh, woo her, to get her to fall in love with him. Yeah, and so she is 
too wild, too difficult um, for him to woo. She's too important. Though I seem tame, though um, I am desirous of her, I, I think she's wonderful and I admire her. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Whoso lists to hunt by Sir Thomas Wyatt.